let me know in the comments if you want to see a part two next. <clears throat> We're back. Hey, for those of you who are new or who didn't see the last video, I broke down Goku vs Frieza on Namek, but this fight is such a behemoth I had to split it up into two parts and break them down and score them separately. Part 1 was base Goku vs Frieza, check it out if you haven't seen it. This video I'm going to be covering Goku vs Frieza after the most legendary moment in the show, Goku transforming into a Super Saiyan for the very first time. And I feel like it was really fitting to split into two separate fights, not just because of how long it is, but because the dynamic was so different here, it really does feel like its own battle. And it was so much more competitive than a lot of you might remember. I think this one's going to surprise you a bit. Like usual, I'm going to be breaking the fight down and scoring it with the 10 point must system. This fight is scheduled for 5 rounds. After each round, the winner gets 10 points and the loser gets 9 points or less depending on how badly they lost and how much damage they took. If it goes all 5 rounds, the scores get tallied and the fighter with more points wins, but the fight can end in any round by stoppage. Okay, let's get right into it. Goku vs Frieza, the finale. Sound the bell, round 1, let's go. It starts off with Goku yelling at Gohan to book it. He tells him, don't worry about me, I'm exactly where I need to be. Bro, he's just gonna deliver cold line after cold line for the entire fight, that's just an FYI. Frieza points his finger at Gohan to snipe him. He thinks he can still just move any which way he wants, but... Goku grabs his hand and starts to crush it, while he looks down on him and tells him how much of a swine he is. Frieza's gotta power up and fight his way out of this one. Look at the effort he expands just to get out of this nonchalant grab. The power dynamic is completely flipped here from the last fight. He's terrified, realizing the legend of the Super Saiyan was true all along. Goku smells the fear. He wants to punish him. Now you will know the heart! He comes in with a huge left hand that lands flush on the jaw and sends him flying. Now he's gonna follow him up in the air, grabs his arm and leg, then folds him like a lawn chair with his knee to the back. Double hammer fist to the body, downs his opponent. And he's just waiting up there like, come on, let me see something. Frieza comes back pissed, and the two argue a bit before he tries to back up here and cover some distance. But Goku is right on his tail. Look at the frustration. Frieza launches a key blast at him that he changed into a volley, but when the smoke clears, he's unfazed. He tanked it. Then Frieza is going to power up and throw another volley that, again, Goku is blocking with just the aura surrounding him. I'm not going to lie though, both of these attacks look clean. Usually the animators make ineffective key blast volleys look like dookie, to the point where you just look at it before it even lands and you're like, oh this is trash. But with Frieza, I like how they still put effort into making these look deadly. Anyways, Goku hits him with the line, Your evil deeds are like a noose, noose around, around your, your neck. neck. Hey, remember those words. Then he hits him with a key attack that he didn't telegraph at all. Look at the impact frame. These are the bewildered eyes of a man in shock. Frieza gets sent flying back, but eventually recomposes. Goku's getting off on this. Who wouldn't? Then he comes lunging in, winding up a huge left hook again like he did earlier. Frieza tries to prepare for the shot, but Goku switches it up into an elbow. Money. He did this against Tien in their second fight, that I also covered by the way. Man, he's really good at fainting one shot heavy, and then smoothly transitioning the faint into a different strike. He's clean man, always has been. Then he follows up with an uppercut that lands flush on the chin, headbutt to the spine. You see the smirk, he knows he's him right now. Frieza comes in with a head kick, block. Look, he tries Goku's faint from earlier, he winds up and telegraphs his left, but he's actually gonna try to come in with a sneaky right, block again though. Now he catches the elbow, block. Frieza's throwing a huge flurry, but Goku's putting on a defensive masterclass. There's that smirk again, look at the active guard here, he's ready for anything. Beautiful parry here, and he checks the kick, whoop, pulls back from the elbow. Frieza spins around and uses his X factor from the last fight, his tail, but even that gets blocked. Goku ducks under the head kick, diverts the spear hand, and look at this, Frieza throws the left, but Goku slides out of the way and opens up his shoulder. Honestly, he had a beautiful check left hook counter opportunity here. He probably saw it too, but I think he's doing some sandbagging of his own here as payback for the last fight. It's pretty much more of the same sequences until Frieza disengages heavy when he realizes he can't get any work off. He's desperate to land something, so he's gonna try and hit him with one of his quickest moves, the death beam, but he shook. Now here comes a burst shot, but easy dodges here. Another dodge, another one. He's just toying with him here, look at this. Frieza is spamming out of frustration. Goku winds him up and lets himself get hit by this one just so he can pop back up like the Undertaker. Frieza is rattled. Another cold line, you can destroy planets, but you can never destroy what I am. <sighs> I'm telling you, he cooks the entire fight. 
While Frieza is having an ego crisis, Goku starts charging a Kamehameha. Frieza starts powering up too, and the energies collide. He forms his energy into a ball, then raises it into the sky, Goku not budging an inch. He probably thought he was gonna throw it at him and was waiting to counter, but it gets launched at Planet Namek instead. Goku's like, oh shit, oh shit. The impact is felt throughout the entire planet. Namek is done for, it's only a matter of time. But it wasn't immediately wiped out, Frieza held too much back, partly because he was afraid of getting caught in the explosion. He says the planet has 5 minutes left before it blows. Everybody knows about this, the infamous 5 minute battle that lasted 9 more episodes bro. This might be one of the most clowned on things in the entire show, for good reason too. But honestly, this never really bothered me, I always figured he was just wrong about it. Like bro, he ain't no geologist. I didn't see him down there taking any rock samples. I didn't see him examining Namek's core with any field equipment. It is what it is. But anyways, I'm taking a point away from him for this weasel move. Frieza can breathe in space, but Goku can't, so this only negatively impacts him. Now Goku's got a fight with the planet's destruction looming over his head, which could affect his performance by making him rush his work. Whoa, 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 when did he change shirts, bro? Am I seeing things? That's clean though, I wonder where I can get a shirt like that. Link in description. <coughs> Support the channel. <clears throat> huh? Anyways, back to the action. Frieza's like, you've been underestimating me. I haven't been using all of my strength, but I'm about to show you 100%. Goku does the smart thing and says he's not going to give him time to power up. Surely he won't change his mind a minute from now, right? He comes in charging and the two fighters clash. A few more clashes here and we see one of the exchanges. Frieza's got the high ground and tries to time Goku on the way in, but a right hand lands flush on the jaw before he can counter. Huge knee to the body lands that sends blood gushing out of the mouth, and a double hammer fist to the back sends him flying towards a blast crater. Right as he recomposes himself, here comes Goku with the head kick, but he dodges by ducking under, then flies away to cover some distance. Goku chasing him down talking trash here, then he cuts him off and lands this beautiful head kick. Follows up with the kick to the back and tries to continue his onslaught, but look at Frieza though. He counterattacks with the same spin move he hit Goku with round 1 of the last video. Some hesitation here because he's probably expecting a tail shot on the way like last time, but instead Frieza was charging this huge key attack that catches him off guard and lands flush. Really good work from him here, especially being at such a disadvantage right now. Goku bursts out of the ground and comes back, but Frieza got the breather he needed to gather energy. He baits him into letting him finish powering up, he's like, bro you're a saiyan, don't you want to see my full power? And man, Goku can't help it, he's coming in but he stops out of curiosity. King Kai contacts him telepathically and he's like, bro, what are you doing? Attack him now. And he's like, no, I want him to power up. I might not get this chance again to fight the most powerful guy in the universe at his best. King Kai thinks he's gone crazy and to be fair, he kind of did. He says he wants to avenge Krillin, how he can still see his face just before he died. Okay, but how is letting Frieza power up gonna help you avenge him? And what about Gohan and the others? And Goku's like, they'll be fine. I just know they will. Bro, he's on that Walter White. I did it for me. I was alive. There's no reasoning with him anymore. The Saiyan genes are on full display. He is a junkyard dog. But so is Frieza, who finally finishes powering up as round one comes to a close. And I'm gonna score this round a 10 8 for Goku. Minus the point deduction from earlier, and we're looking at a 10 7 round. Let's take a look at the stat sheet. Goku landed a key attack and 11 strikes, and they were all heavy bangers. Not a lot of volume for the score, but he dealt a crazy amount of damage this round since Frieza wasn't at 100% yet, and Goku was not pulling his punches. Quality over quantity. Also, he almost shut him out completely. Look at this, zero landed out of 118 strikes for Frieza. That's insane. All he got off was two key attacks, and one of them Goku tanked on purpose. But we finally have pretty much a level playing field going into the second round. We're only getting started guys, let's take a look at round 2. Okay so Frieza opens up the round coming in with a huge body shot that hurts Goku. Tell me how my man is out here looking like Kali Muscle, but he's faster than ever. Bro, Future Trunks is like, dude, teach me. He grabs him by the head and delivers a knee to the face. Now he pulls up behind him and lands his downward elbow to the chest. And he's not gonna let up, Frieza is out for blood. Left hook, right hook, knee to the body and another left hook up top, another knee to the body. These frames are gonna repeat for a while cause he's spamming this combo and then he grabs him by the armpits and ragdolls him here. And the very second that Goku lands on the ground, here comes a stomp to the back. He pulls away now and Goku tries to follow him. He's pissed, he wants his get back. But look at the setup here. Frieza switches up, turns around and clocks him on the way in with a shovel hook. 
Goku's got this bad habit of leaving himself open when he's trying to chase an opponent down. He did the same thing against Vegeta in their first fight that I covered. Look at this, Vegeta baiting him on the back foot. He's chasing him down, but Vegeta gets off the back foot and lunges at him to break his rhythm. Boom, lands the right hook. Hey, everybody's got flaws. Frieza is lighting him up like a Christmas tree with the same combo we saw before. After a left up top and a knee to the body, Goku finally gets a chance to disengage. Bro is booking it. Frieza follows him, we're seeing more damage accumulating on the planet. Goku stops once he notices a wall of lava in his way, and the second he turns around, Kali Muscle lands a massive overhand right that launches him. Now he's flying away again, Frieza's still following him. Goku wants to time him on the way in, but he's not going to make the same mistake coming in too aggressive. Look how he takes his foot off the gas right before he closes the distance. Goku throws the right, but take that knee to the back. Right as he makes it to his feet, here comes a kick straight to the face, stomps his head into the ground and hops away. Again, right as he gets back up, the onslaught continues. Goku manages to block the right, but his body is exposed from the high guard shell, so Frieza lands a knee. Right hand and left hand get blocked, but the knee to the body lands again. Goku buckles and gets caught with the chopping right hand over the guard here. The combo pretty much repeats here in a similar fashion. Goku is feeling overwhelmed and he's hurt up top, so he's just keeping the high guard. Frieza keeps applying pressure high and low, so he's landing a lot of knees below, and he'll sneak in some punches up top from time to time as well. But he loads up way too much on his right hand, and Goku finally has some breathing room and sees an opportunity. Grabs the shot. Now he grabs the left. They're in a deadlock, and here comes the trash talk. Let go of me, you no good stick and dirty saying. So this is it, huh? Your true power? Well, I'm not impressed. But eventually Frieza breaks the grip and lands a massive knee to the body. He pulls back to catch his breath, but Frieza is pissed off to see that he tanked it and is very much still in the fight. The battle continues. Goku dodges the overhand, another dodge here and they reset. Frieza is trying to pressure him by telling him he only has 2 minutes left until the planet blows. But Goku isn't feeling rushed at all. Honestly, he's playing this perfect. Most people in this situation would burn themselves out from the anxiety or just make dumb mistakes. But he just accepts the situation for what it is and focuses on using his gas tank appropriately. It's funny, even though Frieza would survive the explosion and he's been dominating the round, he's the one actually showing some nervous energy here. Frieza comes in quick, Goku tries to time him on the way in but gets caught up top. Frieza gets the high ground and throws a key blast that gets blocked. Then he comes up behind him and tries to throw a juiced up punch but slip, grab, headbutt to the face. Goku gets the wrist control and hits him with the dragon throw move. He launched him back but he shoots out a key blast to cancel out the momentum. This time Goku initiates the offense but Frieza dodges the overhand. He comes in again then cuts an angle behind Frieza but he turns around and catches him off guard with a key blast. Goku is able to cut through it like a hot knife on butter and lands a boot to the face. Then launches a key blast up top that breaks the guard and sends his opponent to the ground. Goku with the stance, you already know the timing he's on. Frieza comes out of the ground and he's fuming. Then he swoops in and Goku fires off the Kamehameha and we get one of, in my opinion, the most underrated key blast struggles in the entire show. The move Frieza uses here is so cool, he is the key blast. Bro, I said it in my last video, I'll say it again, Frieza has such a deep bag. The two collide. Look at the effort expanded here. The Kamehameha is getting juiced up, Frieza is still fighting it. He's struggling, but he's getting pushed back. One more push from Goku here, but Frieza pushing forward too. This is the best part, he puts the ruler away to end the dick measuring contest, escapes the Kamehameha and swoops around to the side to tackle Goku while he's still firing off his beam. <sighs> Clean work. Look at him pushing Goku all the way to Namek's mantle. Frieza wins the beam struggle, not with his brute strength, but by making the smart play. And then this little bum pulls up on Frieza like he's gonna do something. Don't leave now, he's not over yet. Get the f out of here. Oh! Gohan dips. Nah, but filler aside, Goku rises out of the sea huffing and puffing. And look at his eyes. He's all the way locked in now. And Frieza's like, bro, what'll it take to get rid of this guy? As round two comes to a close. Look, I scored this round a 10 7 for Frieza. And I went back and forth a lot between 10-7 and 10-8 on this one, but let's take a look at the stats to see why I scored it so wide. 
Look at how little Goku actually threw and landed here and compare that with Frieza's insane 188 strikes landed with 82% accuracy. Granted, a lot of these shots were from repeated frames and Goku even had a nice little comeback in the middle of the round. Good composure too, so I really wanted to score a 10-8, but man, still, the numbers are hard to ignore and Frieza landed bomb after bomb, just worked him in the first half of the round. And he put a huge stamp at the end of the round here by winning the beam struggle and not just downing Goku, but having him hurt really badly there too. He was out for a hot minute in the anime and the manga after that. The score is now an even 17 to 17 going into round three. Let's take a look at the next round. Round three starts with Goku talking trash to wind Frieza up, but then he responds with, I'm going to blow you to pieces, just like that little bald guy. <laughs> yeah, that backfired. Goku is pissed. The rage is consuming him, but he knows how to channel it. Frieza shoots the eye lasers, get that out of here. They both swoop in and clash into a heated exchange. Frieza slips on the inside of the left hand and tries to throw a body shot, but he gets blocked with the knee. Now it's the reverse. Goku ducks under the left and his body shot is blocked by the knee. They're going back and forth. Nobody landing yet, but Goku's applying the pressure. Frieza winds up here too much, trying to counterattack, but whoop! Goku comes in with the hook kick, duck under by Frieza, but then he gets caught with the follow up head kick. He tries to bite back with a straight right, but slip, chopping hook over the top that Goku chains into a throw. Here comes a key blast in retaliation, slip. Goku comes back with his own, but it also gets dodged. Frieza comes back with a scattered beam, but it gets neutralized. Then he comes in with the left hand that gets slipped on the outside. He tries to follow up, but Goku bangs him with the knee on the way in. Clean. Time out. I gotta talk about what's been going on in the story because it actually ties into the battle. So while they've been fighting, King Kai has been coordinating with Kami on Earth to make a wish with the Dragon Balls. They brought everyone killed by Frieza on Namek back to life, so now Vegeta, Dende, and most of the Namekian villagers are back. But most importantly, Guru is back, so the dragon on Namek is revived. King Kai and Guru are trying to get Dende to fly over to Purunga to wish everybody except for Frieza back to Earth. And while Goku is scrapping with Frieza, he somehow gets a hold of their radio frequency and interjects the conversation. He's like, hell no, don't wish me back to Earth. I need this. After a lot of convincing, King Kai finally listens to him. Okay, back to the fight. Goku comes in with the left that gets blocked. Frieza tries to counter with his own left to the body, but he's just out of range. The uppercut misses too. Goku with the elbow attempt, and then blocks the overhand right. Frieza just out of range again, this time with a kick. Goku using his reach advantage effectively. Look at this, slip, slip, counter shots to the body. Pay attention, this is gonna be money for him throughout the fight. And look, he avoids the backhand too before they disengage. That's patience, that's high fight IQ, he's feeling himself. Frieza notices Purunga is back, and he wants another opportunity to make his wish of immortality, so he makes a run for it, but you know Goku ain't gonna let him get away with it. He pulls up on him with that Mark Henry. You think it's that easy? I got a lot left in the tank! They're throwing. Frieza cuts the outside angle while parrying the straight and tries to land the head kick, but Goku blocks and lands an inside low kick that takes his legs out from underneath him. Vegeta watching them like, It should have been me! It should have been me! Dende makes it to Purunga and he's about to make the wish. Meanwhile, Frieza inching closer and closer. He clips him with his big right hand, but the follow ups get blocked. Goku comes back in with another lethal body shot. Look how Frieza dodges this right hand. What the? Actually, I think he was just faking like he was gonna fly away, but still, this looked crazy. He does it again, but this time, uses it to land a body kick and finally gets Goku off his tail. Hey, that's a creative feint, I'll give him that. He makes it to Purunga in time, but the dragon ain't listening to him because he's not speaking the native tongue. Also, why does Dende speak Namekian like it's his third language? Listen to this. That did not roll off the tongue, he didn't learn from the elders, bro picked up Duolingo. That's why they sent him to Earth in the Cell Saga, you are not one of us. We get the iconic filler scene here of Vegeta pulling up to the battlefield. Look how hyped Goku is to see him. Hey, yeah! Look at the mutual respect. Kakarot, you dog, you did it. You actually did it. Classic, man. But he along with everyone else except the two competitors gets transported away from the planet and the fight continues. They go back down to the ground and we get this classic shot of the punches connecting. Now they lock hands. Still pretty evenly matched power wise, 
but Goku's got the slight edge as Frieza's leg buckles. Check this out though, he disengages and lands a massive uppercut. Now a clothesline sends Goku to the ground. Frieza's been really good about this the entire fight. Whenever they get into a power struggle, Goku gets lost in trying to outmuscle him, while Frieza will switch things up and make new openings if he sees he's not winning that exchange. Either Goku's not as crafty in these positions as he was in some of his other fights, or Frieza's just that good in these exchanges. He lands a big punch from Mount, but a two-piece from Goku shakes him off, and now Goku's coming in with the takedown attempt. It gets stuffed, and we get another stalemate. But again, he changes it up by picking him up and slamming him into the ground. He's got him by the leg, and he starts ragdolling him pretty badly here. Goku's thrown into the air and gets kicked to the body, but he blocks his follow-up knee, and they reset. When they clash again, we see shockwaves across the planet while they're going back and forth. Frieza gets the better of him in another exchange by landing a big right hand that floors Goku, and he's gonna charge up the most preposterous key blast to finish the job. Look at this thing, he just keeps going. But even more preposterous is Goku grabbing it underwater and punching it away so hard some random planet catches the stray and gets wiped out. Goku is winded, so Frieza breaks his guard with this key attack and follows up with a punch that sends him into the lava. But my man hops right out of there and comes back with a body shot. Frieza eats it though, look at the brick wall. He's feeling himself too, talking about the legend of the Super Saiyan was overrated. Then we see the two of them trading. When you look at the frames, you see Goku applying more pressure here, but neither fighter is landing anything. Frieza pissed off, stops the forward aggression with a key attack. He tries to follow up with a punch, but Goku counters with a stronger key attack to set up a big left up top that rocks his opponent. He's just better at this move. Even in part one of their fight, when they went head to head with the invisible key blast, Goku was up. They're gonna keep trading. The planet is looking more and more cooked. Look at the final exchange in the round. After blocking a straight to the body, Goku comes in with a huge left, but Frieza steps back and catches the shot. Then he switches stances and bounces back into range with his own left. Goku lands in retaliation. Now they trade a few more shots before Goku follows up with a 1-2, but Frieza dodges by slipping on the inside and then dipping under the second shot. Then he's gonna disengage and the two reset as round two comes to an end. Man, this is the most competitive round yet, but I scored it again for Frieza. This time only a 10-9 though. Let's look at the stats, which by the way really helped me decide the winner for this round. Both fighters landed the same, 16 shots, but Frieza had better efficiency and landed one more key attack, which is really what edged him the round. But despite winning the round on the cards, Frieza's letting his emotions get the better of him. It's been like a roller coaster all round, and you can tell he's really frustrated by Goku's durability, whereas Goku, he's got this kind of calm intensity about him the whole round. The score is now 27 to 26 in favor of Frieza, but the dynamic of the fight is shifting. Alright, let's take a look at round 4. This one is crazy. It starts off with both fighters lunging in and clashing. Frieza landed the elbow, but Goku snuck in the left hand. He blocks the back fist, Frieza blocks the straight right, then he comes back with a head kick that also gets blocked. The combo repeats, but this time, Goku catch and shoot counters the head kick and lands an elbow to the face. Frieza stunned, but shells up to block the follow up. He's also coiling up here to throw the hook kick, but whoop, Goku steps out of range and catches him again with that elbow. The same kind of sequences repeats and Goku peppers him with two more elbows. Frieza cuts the inside angle and lands a body kick, but Goku cracks him with a huge headbutt. They're going back and forth and the fight moves to the ground again. Frieza dragging him to the ground with his nasty body punch, but he escapes. They're trading shots in the air, Goku feeling the heat and gets caught up top. Body shot, body shot. Again, head body body combos landing from Frieza. He's saucing him up here, but he's just frantic. Listen to him. A Saiyan can't beat me. A monkey can't beat me. You can't. You can't. You can't. Goku just waiting for an opportunity here. Here it is. Telegraphed head kick gets grabbed. He's hyper extending the knee. Look at the strength. Frieza in agony lands a head kick before his leg snaps. Boom, punts him down to the ground with a body kick, and he's trying to continue the pressure, but Goku blocking everything and throwing his own off the back foot. Frieza forced on the defensive now. He doesn't like it, so he tries to throw a big shot to get his respect back, but a beautiful slip and counter up top that lands flush. Goku following up. Frieza tries to counter him while he's committing heavy on the way in, which he was able to do earlier in the fight, and like I mentioned is one of Goku's flaws, but this time he course corrects, steps back, and counters with a kick to the back that floors his opponent. See, he's been gathering data and making adjustments as the fight goes on, but Frieza's still fighting the same way he did in round 2. That forward pressure and volume ain't working the same anymore. Trying to counter when Goku dashes in ain't working the same anymore. He's getting read like a book and gassing out in the process. And he's pissed. I hate you! He comes in with a tail strike, but a pullback. Comes around him and bam, chopped to the back of the neck. 
Okay, I take some of what I said back, because Goku does drop his guard again and gets caught on the way in with his body shot and a kick to the back. But hey, he's fighting a snarling junkyard dog right now. Like, you're gonna get caught. It's just been happening less and less. Frieza taking deep breaths here before coming in with the tackle, but look at the brick wall. Time out, let's check out their Apple Watches here. Let's open the heart rate app. Okay, Goku sitting at a cool, crisp 162 beats per minute. I like it, I like it. All right, let's look at Frieza's watch. Ooh, 183 BPM. Ah, oh, he's cooked. They continue clashing. Right hand telegraphed, easy sidestep for Goku. Elbow to the jaw and staying defensively responsible here. Ducks under the head kick while he's coming in and counters with a huge gut punch and a knee to the body. Frieza recomposes and immediately comes back like he has been. Look how much energy he's expending moving around here just to catch Goku off guard. He can't hang with them anymore unless he's just doing the most. But it works because he sneaks up behind him and takes his back. He's trying to squeeze the life out of him. But Goku makes some space and starts unleashing elbows to the body back to back. Six elbows and surely you're gonna let go. Let go! Let go! 16 unanswered strikes to the body. Frieza is losing it. But he comes in and lands a heavy four-piece combo here that had me wondering how Goku could even get caught like this. But when he stood up, everything was clear. He ate that on purpose and now he's goading Frieza to come in even more aggressive. And that's what's gonna let him set up the best body punch in the entire show. The famous slip and rip to the body that folded Frieza like a lawn chair. He's the best body puncher in DBZ, I've been saying it. And honestly, he can finish him off right here. He's got his man hurt, but it's payback time for the humiliation ritual he got put through in the last video I made. He lets him get up and he comes in with a chop. Goku slips it and turns his body, but he gets caught with a big head kick that sends him flying. He bounces back with a side kick and freezes like, okay, bet, I can handle this. He slips it, but he gets caught with a boot to the face as Goku follows up. He dropped him. Look at him, he's a shell of himself at this point. He picks himself off the floor and immediately gets met with an elbow to the chin. He eats the dirt and gets punted like a soccer ball. Goku follows up with another punch to the body and he's just toying with them now. Frieza turns around but the man is gone. He hits him with a jump scare. He's being humiliated right now. Anytime he makes a move, Goku is right there delivering psychological damage. He's finally getting a taste of his own medicine and he hates it. Frieza comes in with a combo desperate to land, but Goku slips every single shot. He's tired, he's terrified, he can't process the fact that he's losing. Boom, another shot to the body freezes him. One up top, now he's just teeing off on him, Frieza can't even defend himself. 54 strikes landed in this combo alone. Frieza recomposes and he's fuming, but Goku just staring daggers at him. It's way too easy, so he just drops his guard and says, it's done. Frieza's like, what do you mean it's done? Just frantic. And Goku says he's not even a challenge to him anymore, that he fought and lost to a better fighter, and to make matters worse, he's just a monkey, right? Bro, he literally says Frieza's too scared and ashamed to fight him anymore. This was just peak mental warfare. He turns his back to him and goes back to base. Literally flies away from him, but Frieza pulls out a new move, the Death Saucer, and launches it at Goku. But he notices and dodges at the last moment. I gave you one last chance to live, and this, this is how you repay me? He's back in the fight, and Namek is reaching its breaking point as round four comes to a close. Look, I'm scoring this round a 10-7 for Goku, and if you look at the stats, they do not do him justice. Sure, they still show that he outlanded Frieza and that he was a lot more accurate, but even the shots Frieza did land, most were from a desperate flurry at the start that didn't really affect Goku a whole lot. Whereas Goku hurt his man countless times, dropped him at will, humiliated him, and controlled almost the entire round. Could have stopped the fight whenever he wanted to. Simple. The score is now 36 to 34 in favor of Goku. Frieza's only hope of winning now is to land the death saucer, but that's a slim chance at best. Let's take a look at the fifth and final round of this epic fight. So the round starts off with Frieza thinking he's back in the fight. And to his credit, he really did pull out a brilliant move here. He remembers how Krillin's Destructo Disc was able to cut him while he was in his second form. If the technique can damage someone that much more powerful than them, then it can for sure kill Goku too if it lands. So he steals the move, but he makes it better by combining it with his telekinesis so he can control his trajectory. But still bro, even though he made the best chess move he could, your elo is a 900 and you're playing against a grandmaster right now. Goku's not bothered in the slightest. All I gotta do is dodge, bruh. But Frieza really thinks he's cooking here. Goku flies towards him and pulls away so that the saucer would cut him in half, but he sees it coming and diverts it towards Goku again. He's thinking to himself, As if I'm stupid enough to be cut by my own attack. Surely that won't happen to him, right? 
Look, Goku gives him some false hope again and makes him think he landed the disc, but really, he's perfectly fine. Matter of fact, he's never felt better. Look at this pose, bro thinks there's paparazzi around, what are you doing? Okay, you got it. Frieza generates another saucer and launches both of them at Goku. Again, easy work. Whoop! Light work. Whoop! He comes at Frieza again, this time pops a key blast to distract him. He can't see because of the smoke, has to take to the air to dodge, but gets met with a downward elbow to the dome. Had his eyes popping out of his head. Goku slips 8 shots, easy as can be, catches the last 2 shots, and delivers a knee to the body, just adding to the damage he dealt from last round. Then he pays Frieza back for the tail slaps in the last part of the fight by slapping him 19 times in the face. This was disrespect on another level. He thinks nothing of him. Then he follows up with a double hammer fist and a headbutt to the chin. Frieza is falling down, but he regains consciousness. He tries to stand back up, but... As if I'm stupid enough to be cut by my own attack. Goku tells him, I wanted to save you, Frieza, but you wouldn't let me. The writing here is just 10 out of 10. Remember how at the start of the fight, Goku told him, your evil deeds are like a noose around your neck? And now Frieza has to share the fate of the planet he himself destroyed after getting caught by his own attack, an attack he got from Krillin, who he just killed. The chain of events is crazy, even going back decades to when he wiped out planet Vegeta to snuff out Saiyan potential, only for it to cause a chain reaction that eventually led to him being the cause of the legendary Super Saiyan he always feared. You reap what you sow. Namek was peak television bro, I don't care. Then he's gonna beg Goku to help him begging a quote unquote saiyan monkey for mercy, that's crazy. And when Goku, after fighting himself not to, does show mercy by giving him his own energy, Frieza isn't grateful, actually he taunts Goku by telling him he's a monkey and he's gonna die in the explosion, because it really is gonna blow up any minute now. Well, aren't you gonna keep running monkey, aren't you? <laughs> like a little circus gym. He taunts him like, oh look the great super saiyan can't even beat a dead planet. And Goku, after not a single peep, responds with, Maybe not, but it was enough to defeat you. And he just leaves without even taking a second glance at him. Man, the mental torture. Frieza so wound up thinking about how much he was humiliated this entire battle, and his ego and pride so badly shattered that he fires off the energy he received back at Goku. But he counters it with the key blast and easily overpowers him. Frieza loses in the most pathetic way possible. Goku wins the fight in the fifth round via knockout. Here are the stats for the round if you're curious, but honestly, there's really not much to see here. Instead, let's take a look at the stats for the fight overall while I make my final comments. It's wild that Frieza landed twice as many strikes and he was more accurate too. Keep in mind though, these numbers are skewed from the second round where Frieza landed an insane 188 strikes. But still, let's talk about how Goku won this one so clearly, even though Frieza was putting in work. Okay, the big reasons he won was because he had better cardio, experience, and composure. That helped him sustain his power a lot better than Frieza, who was basically redlining his system fighting at 100%. Man, Goku knew he had the dub before Frieza even powered up. He said, are you sure your body's gonna be able to handle it? I don't think it will. He called it. Bro, I'm telling you, you got one guy who's been in the trenches his whole life. Countless 50-50 matchups where he had to rise to the occasion. And then you have another guy who's never really had to face a challenge, actually gone out of his way to avoid potential challenges. Now which one do you think is going to be able to last in the championship rounds? You tell me. Exactly, of course Frieza was going to burn out. Let's talk about the composure. Goku's got such insanely high composure, to the point where he can have telepathic conversations with King Kai while he's scrapping with the best in the universe. To the point where Namek is eroding before his eyes and he's not panicking or rushing his work. It's just next level mindset. Frieza on the other hand was not composed at all. He was frantic for a lot of the fight, even when he was doing well, just couldn't get a grip and that combined with the fast twitch muscle from fighting at 100% made him gas out like crazy. Another thing, Goku has amazing durability which just exacerbated Frieza's cardio issue. Plus bro was making the better in fight adjustments, look he was just a better fighter. If they fought 10 times, I got Goku winning 8 or 9 out of 10. Frieza's biggest chance is landing a lucky shot with a death saucer and he'd have to do it early on while he's still fresh. So guys, we're finally done covering this epic, epic clash. If part 2 delivered, hit that like button, it helps a lot. Let me know what you guys think, what you want to see next. Bro, I read all the comments, I see all the support. You guys are the best. And yeah, I'm out of here.